Hey, this is Bobby from Backyard Beans. I'm the director of coffee, and I have Paige with me today, who is our mm -hmm. production roaster. We are gonna brew up a two pack of a couple of Nicaragua coffees for you. These are from Luis Alberto by Adares. His farm, Finca Un Regalo de Dios, is in Nicaragua, as I mentioned. And we had one of his coffees last year that was very popular, so we decided, how about we bring in more of the coffees that he offers. He does a really good job separating out the lots and the different varieties and the different processing methods that he performs. So Paige, what do we have to brew up today? All right, so we have a natural and a honey pacamara here. So we're looking at the same variety coming from the same farm, but just two different processes. Um, pacamaras are fun. They're like a really big bean and um, they are known for like tropical and floral characteristics. Cool, so how are we brewing this? I, we have V60s here, I see. All right, so V60s, um, we're going to do a one to 15 ratio. We have our water set at 200 degrees here. So we'll start by opening up our filter, folding it back, tacking it down in here, making sure it's against the walls. We're going to uh, wet our filter real good here. So this morning, actually, I made a pour over at home and I forgot to dump the water before I went to brew my coffee. So I did my bloom. So we're gonna dump it. I realized it looked weak, I went and dumped it. So don't forget, don't do that. All, All right. right, so we got 16 and a half grams of coffee here. I will be brewing the natural and Bobby has the honey processed. Tear out our scale. You ready? What grind setting are we using? We're doing a medium fine. It's around 13 on an encore grinder. Cool. You ready? Ready. So we're gonna start with um, 50 gram bloom here. I'm gonna let that go for 20 seconds. Paige has a slower kettle than me. The uh, stag has a really nice flow rate. So this one I have to be a little bit more gentle with. 20 seconds here, we're gonna pour it 150 grams. So we're doing a um, Smaller brew here, so you can try both coffees side by side without having big cups of coffee. Um, this is also like a really fast brew. So at 50 seconds here, we're gonna go up to 250. We're using a uh, strategy where we're pouring straight down the middle and then swirling around here. Makes, uh, make sure you don't get any dry pockets in there. So we're going all the way up to 250. Then we're gonna let that drain down. You're looking for a drain time of two minutes to two minutes and 15 seconds. If you're going a little faster or slower, we'll adjust your grind setting according to that. Cool. Yeah, so we found that these coffees extracted very similar, so we said let's just brew them the same way and taste the differences in, in the coffee and not the differences in the brew method. So we have here some coffees. Here, try this one first that were already brewed up. These are cooled down a little bit. It's best to taste your coffee when it's cool. If it's a high quality coffee, you'll get the acidity and the sweetness more. So we're gonna taste the honey process. Honey process first. That's the one I brewed. Ah, oh, it's good. It's, uh, it's really bright. I get like a lime brightness to it and it's got a lot of dark chocolate notes. There's a good balance of like red apple sweetness and what kind of reminds me of like honey graham crackers and nuts. Uh, so it's, it's like classic coffee, but it has really clean sweetness, acidity, um, really nice. Is, uh, this is gonna be a good crowd pleaser coffee. Like anybody who likes something really crazy is gonna love this coffee. Somebody who wants something a little bit more classic will like the honey process. So let's try the natural. Natural. This one to me like smells a lot more intense when we ground it. Yes. Delicious. Wow. So you're looking at notes of uh, green grape, hibiscus, orange blossom, and some blueberry in this cup. 
Cool. Yeah, that coffee, the natural's a lot more like tart, fruity, tropical than the natural. And it's crazy. Like the only difference is the fermentation and the drying. Uh, the natural just dries in the cherry, whereas the honey goes through a pulping process that removes the skin then it's laid out to dry. Uh, Luis Alberto Bayadares, I know he does a really meticulous job with his drying protocols to make sure his coffees come out very clean. And we definitely get that in both of these coffees. So it's no surprise that these are phenomenal. He actually won first place last year in Nicaragua's Cup of Excellence. And each year he's consistently placing. So we love coffees from Un Regalo de Dios and we hope you do as well. Cheers. Cheers.